Just hours ago, Russian forces began their attack. Scale invasion, several rockets had hit various Ukrainian cities. cities are under strikes. I remember this day very well. I was at home with my family. We had explosion around of Kyiv. I had to flee together with my family, with my kids, with my mom from our home in Kyiv. Now I know that everything which we call normal life is very fragile. This full-scale evasion changed the life of all Ukrainians. My name is Natalia Karbovska. I am Director of Strategic Development of the Ukrainian Women's Fund. My name is Oleksandra Matvichuk. I'm Human Rights Defender, Head of Center for Civil Liberties. My name is Katerina Levchenko. I'm a Government Commissioner for Gender Equality Policy in Ukraine. War affected both women and men, but the war crime where women affected more than men is the conflict-related sexual violence. We focused on documentation of war crimes, which is committed by Russian army. I interviewed hundreds of people who survived Russian captivity. They told me how they were beaten, how they were raped, how their fingers were cut. We see how women are suffering in this war. They are majority of IDPs. They do not have jobs. They do not have money to feed themselves and their families. But we often see women only as victims. And this prevents us from seeing them as a solution. Sometimes without electricity, without heating, without internet or without mobile connection. But nevertheless, we continue to work. So since the first week of the war, actually, we launched Rapid Response Grant Making Program. Working 24-7, providing immediate support to women and women's rights organizations. We provide a people legal assistance. You can be arrested, you can be beaten, but there are people who will fight for you. Since the beginning of the war, women became very active in defending Ukraine. And now we have more than 50,000 women in the Ukrainian armed forces. Women who are protecting the country from inside, they know how to be crisis managers now. And this is the skill that, in my opinion, will be very much needed for the whole country when we start recovery. War turned people into numbers. We have to ensure justice to all victims of the war crimes. Ukrainian Women's Fund is now working on engaging women's rights organizations into the discussions and planning of the Ukraine recovery strategy. And what is important now to include this perspective of women's rights and gender equality. Democracy without women is not democracy.